Okay, so this full marker is not as difficult as you think. It says some parts of the human body have adaptations to reduce the entry of live pathogens. Explain how the trachea is adapted to reduce the entry of live pathogens. So the trachea is a tube that connects the mouth to the lungs. It's where any of the air you breathe in goes through before it enters the lungs. So this is a route for potential pathogens to enter the body through. So we have these defenses to stop those pathogens traveling all the way to the lungs and entering the blood. So how does the trachea stop these pathogens from entering the lungs? There are two main adaptations, but this is a four marker, so we need four points. So we need to expand on those two adaptations we were talking about. So the first thing is the fact that they produce mucus. That's one of the things they do. So that's one mark. To get the second mark, we need to explain what that does. The mucus is there to trap the pathogens. Okay, so we've got two marks there. Now we need one more adaptation and we need to explain it. So the second one are the hair-like structures that exist in the trachea. They're called cilia. So we can say they contain cilia. So these cilia are not like normal cells. They can actually move. So what they do is they get the mucus which traps the pathogen and they waft them up and out of the trachea into the back of the throat. So all we need to say for the final mark, they contain cilia to waft or to move the mucus out of the trachea. Four marks.